Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Ambitious Angler. I'm Brody. Saturday morning, a couple days later since I last seen you guys. We're uh, looking at a nice day today. We're planning on going back to the last river that we were in from the last episode. Um, right now it's about 20 to 5 in the morning and I am still half asleep. So coffee is an essential part of my morning today. Anyway, we're going to get the kayak and uh, we got a few different things planned for today's fishing trip. So we'll see you guys after. my trolling this morning so last night I rigged up um, a couple downriggers like a, a DIY downrigger for my rods um, which I'll show you when we're sailing out but uh, my plan is to go to some deeper water this morning but I also have uh, some night crawlers that I found last night uh, and we might do some drop shotting in that area as well we'll uh, see you on the water guys on the river so I'm going to throw out a couple uh, sidewinders to start so that's what we're gonna do now we'll just be going again with the silver sidewinders and I'll show you my setup here once I get them both in the water so the uh, deep trawling modification that I made today um, since I don't have a downrigger uh, I basically have my main line coming from my rod. I've got a bead, a weight slider in between, and another bead. Tied down to a split ring or a swivel, if you have one is better, but I didn't have any more swivels. And then the, my leader is coming down to a snap swivel here, and that's where I'm going to hook up my lures. So the plan is... 15 to 20 feet between an ounce to two ounces of weight roughly I can get it down to where I want it and then hopefully it doesn't tangle with my lure but uh, that's the plan today so hopefully there's some stuff marking the deep water and I'm kind of using the uh, trolling modification rig the downrigger and I'm just trolling the worm behind it so that's what we're doing right now as you can see guys right there Big school of day fish on the sounder. We're in a good spot right now. But I don't know if they're going to want the worm or what. But I guess we'll find out. So no bites yet. Um, I did rig up another rod here. Anyway, we're, our worm's tips are just at the water level right now. So we're just going to feed out so much. We're in 8 to 10 feet of water. So we'll feed out a foot at a time. And uh, try to get it near the bottom. So normally what I'd like to do here is just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's about eight feet. So basically a foot in between your reel and your first ring here. Um, and then you can just kind of gauge where your depth is. Got him on, guys. I didn't think I was. Oh, Mr. Flatfish. Well, sir, my first one of the year. Not a bad looking one. There's our first flatfish of this year. In you go, bud. Go for a start recording. Getting bit again, guys. Hooked up. Uh, fish number two of the day. Decent. Decent, decent size. <laughs> oh, hooked up again. It's number two. 
I think. Nope, stuck down bottom. Nice one. Here we go, bud. So we'll play around with the flounder for a bit. Hold up that recording. Not too bad. Just trying to get a meal. Oh, I'm on. I'm on that side too. I'm on. <laughs> yeah, you can have fun with these guys all day. Well, we're not really targeting what we came in for, are we? Another guy. <laughs> like a dolphin. Swell up. Down like a wind. Just got hit already. GoPro start recording. <laughs> I can see him coming up the water line. Man, these guys are hungry. So I made my mind up. We're going to use the rest of the worms to catch some flounder. And we'll just trawl sidewinders for the rest of the day. I think my GoPro just died, but I just put this guy right in the or back. <laughs> Jeepers. There he goes, he's gone. We're on. Ooh, nice, nice. Oh, wow, that's the second one I hooked in the back. Tons of them down there. Ah, missed him again. Oh man, we're on actually. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Fight to him. That's not a bad one, actually. It's pretty good. Nice one. I'm almost out of worms. Well, that's it, guys. No more worms left. We have one on the end of that rod up there right now, so we'll use that to finish up and. I might throw on a bucktail there just to try it. So what I'm going to try is this Chartreuse bucktail and this soft plastic with this wiggly tail. Um, I might have to cut it down a little bit, but we're going to see if we get some hits from the uh, the flounder on this. Stay tuned. So this is the setup here. Chartreuse bucktail with a little wiggly tail. I cut off some of the top, so we'll see if we get a few hits. We're getting we're getting some bites. I will say that the hook is quite large for their mouth, so I don't expect it to work great. So here's our replacement, guys. Use the same plastic as before. Small little jig head with a smaller hook. We should be able to hook into one now. So we're just gonna pedal up here a little ways and then drop the anchor. Okay, this should be a good spot. Just let go. 
they're all like schooling it down there. It's crazy. Oh, we got one. We're hooked up just like that. I think I jigged them. Yes, I did. Yeah, I jigged them. I don't know. I mean, they could fit it in their mouth, but like the tail is probably what they're chewing on. Anyway, got one. So I didn't hook up any more than that one. It's just they probably have a tough time finding the hook. That will pick up one because look at the hooks. It's very small, lots of shine, and they probably do eat minnows. So let's try. Yeah, it's it's tough to get them on. It's a jig, right? So it mimics a dying bay fish, this one, and We got one. Didn't think we were gonna, but we got one. <sighs> Someone took a hit at it anyway. At least we know it worked. <laughs> but I think that's that's my last flounder today. I think I'm gonna start trawling trout for the rest of it. Tide's coming in, but see you, buddy. Thanks for the the fight. All right, let's go trout trolling. Starting out with one ounce of weight in front of our two silver sidewinders. So that's the plan. And we'll just kind of watch the fish finder and play with depth for now. A little update, <clears throat> nothing uh, on the trawl so far. I had one hit and the phone was dead at that point. So, and my GoPro wasn't ready. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just one hit so far. It was in this area. This is my third pass, and I've had nothing but dirt coming on my hooks. So, keep trying, I guess. Uh, eventually, work my way up to the bridge, but if I can get another hit or two like that, maybe. Nope, never mind. We're on, we're on. <laughs> Just dropped that one over the side, actually. Not a very big one, but. Oh, yeah, just a small little guy. Small little fella. Big congratulations to uh, Mr. Green and Silver. First one, I was almost gonna switch back to the gold because I wasn't feeling any, any hope for this one. So we're gonna make some adjustments. We're gonna get rid of the sidewinders and we're gonna start mimicking the forage a little bit. So I have a couple of Rapalas. This one here is jointed and wiggles. They're both floating because I have this one here as well. This is the actual Rapala floating trout lure. Um, one wiggles, one doesn't. Uh, this one here, I destroyed top water macro fishing uh, last year on it. And uh, yeah, I'm interested to see how it does with the trout. So we'll give these two a try, mimic the forge a bit, and let's see how it goes. Well, absolutely no luck with the uh, change up in lowers winds picked up to the north or the east. I guess I could quit or I could go back up and fish a few more flounders to end the day on a high note. I don't imagine it'll take too long. I have some other stuff I can use, I guess, to see. I'll probably take it. I think that's what we'll do. I think we'll go back up and we'll fish a few flounders just to end the day on a high note. So I'm up at the flounder grounds. Well, close. There's a boat actually where I was about to go, but we'll find our way around them. Um, even though we had no luck today, I'm very happy with the way that moved through the water. You can really feel the, the treading through the water and uh, you can tell it has a lot of action because whenever it's trolling and you try to reel it in, it's it's heavy because it's treading so much. Anyway, I'll show you what the setup is for our flounder. So what I'm gonna do is take this little jig head that we were using this morning 
And what I did was I crimped it a little bit to make the hook a little smaller because it was quite wider and I found that a little bit too hard for them to gulp it. And speaking of gulp, I'm going to use these little gulp minnows. <clears throat> I feel like that will probably get a get them all going. So I have uh, faith that this is going to work. That's it for today guys, um, ended up getting five flounder up here on the Berkeley Gulp and a little jig head. Um, there was a boat next to me so I didn't really film a whole lot, I just kind of got that one. So it worked uh, and another boat showed up and they're starting to throw some sand eels for striped bass, maybe even trout, I'm not sure, but I'm curious now. But anyway, it's time to go home, It's this is the longest day I put in on this river. So, all right, we'll uh, see you guys again on the next episode. Take care.